all. Now, in the past decade, scented candles have moved from a basic item to a must-have home staple that's become a lifestyle and Personally, I'm a little obsessed. Tamara, I'm so glad to hear you're even more obsessed than I am. And you say there is a candle out there for everyone. Yes, there is a candle for your teenager and there's a candle for your grandmother. <laughs> and they're really just as nuanced as the entire personal fragrance industry. But I think what's interesting about scented candles is it's not just about the fragrance you you know it's about the ritual of lighting it mm -hmm. and what we do in that time i have even like pretty decoupage match boxes that i use and we have candles all over our house for different reasons so i'm going to take you through a roundup of some amazing ones and also hopefully try and explain why some of them cost upwards of a hundred dollars yeah that's kind of why we wanted to even do this segment like we want to talk about the money we want to talk about the fragrances uh, and the scents let's talk about all of it, but let's start with decor. Okay, so you can't scroll through Instagram or look at a shelfie without seeing candles in every vignette. And what's happened is the vessel and the packaging has become as much a part of it as the, the candle itself. Some people don't even burn their candles. They just buy them to display <laughs> them. And so my bra big brass apple is just as much of a, you know, beautiful display item as it is a candle. Um, you know, they're a great styling accessory for a coffee table, mantle, or kitchen. And all of these candles I'm going to show are paraffin free. So that's one of the reasons that they'll be a little bit more expensive because paraffin wax is less expensive than soy blends. Um, this candle is a beautiful one from a family owned Toronto business called Candle Artistique candle with a K and their vessel is hand-blown glass made in Poland and that blue color is inspired by the blue of the base flame in a candle very cool and I actually also have a bunch of vessels here that I used to have candles in and I'm using them as vases for flowers and even a little pen cup because they were really pretty Oh my gosh, that's so good. They're pretty and that is so good for the environment. I love that idea. Reuse those vessels. Okay, let's talk scents now and using candles to mask, I don't know, some unwanted smells. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, people put candles in the bathroom for a reason. <laughs> but it's not just the bathroom. I mean, I love eating, but I don't always love my house to smell like meat or even fried <laughs> onions. The kitchen's a great place for candles and maybe you want, you know, a, a, food, and, a food and beverage inspired candle that won't um, be off putting in the kitchen. So Malin and Getz is another great company. These are hand poured in Brooklyn. I love the bergamot. It reminds me of my Earl Grey tea, but they also have a lot of man candles. I think you have the rum there and I have a leather candle. You can yeah. give that a sniff, but, and I certainly don't think that we should be putting gender onto fragrances. That's a whole other segment, but I do think these are scent notes that you would typically find in men's cologne. Listen, I, I took one smell of this uh, dark rum uh, candle and I did smell man. It's like there's a man in there. And I know <laughs> it's like we shouldn't gender things, but <gasps> like yeah. I grew up with a dad that was very much about um, smelling good. Like my dad always put on really lovely fragrances. Yeah. Um, and so like it's just, it, it, it's everything good is in that candle. It smells amazing. Definitely not your grandmother's candles, okay? Let's talk about lighting a yeah. candle for relaxation or meditation, which is big right now as well. Yes, so we think of lighting a candle when you're in a bubble bath or relaxing, and scent has the power to do that for us. Um, now, it's very personal what you yourself will find relaxing, but um, 100 Years of Love is another Toronto-based home fragrance company, and they actually have a sleep candle. So. Don't fall asleep with the candle <laughs> lit, but this is a very soothing candle with uh, eucalyptus and lavender. Now, I love how you're breaking all of the, the, the fragrances down, talking about the notes of lavender and eucalyptus, much like a sommelier breaks down a glass of wine, right? Yes, it's like the fragrance industry, like when you're talking about a fine perfume. Luxury candles, you're, you're spending more money because the scents are complex and there's 
teams of people working on building them with a top note, a middle note, and a bass note, and you know just the right mix to be you know evocative of something special. And the best fragrance developers understand that sometimes that mystery ingredient will really add like a je ne sais quoi. So this uh, Terra Domi is a local small business. This bestie candle actually has notes, fragrance notes of bubble gum in it with vanilla bean and almond which is unexpected. And another big trend we're seeing um, is cannabis scented candles. So 100 Years of Love has one, Malina Getz has one, you have one with you that you can give a smell. And yeah. it, it doesn't smell like what you think it's gonna smell like, right? Okay, well let me give it a, uh, a whiff and I'll tell you. Yes, it does not smell like a joint, ladies and gentlemen. It does not. <laughs> Right. Smell like a joint. It <laughs> smells really good. It smells good, though. Now, you've talked about how the vessels have really come to the forefront. So let's talk about this next company that adds some humor to their vessels. And it's a company that we love here on City Line. We've talked about them before. Let's talk about Real Talk Candles. Yeah, so I love that it's a female and black owned business and she's really interesting, used to be a writer or maybe still writes plays. And so for her, a lot of it was about the words. Now they're a soy based candle, it's a beautiful candle, but what makes them special is the writing on the packaging and it's <laughs> very humorous. They're conversation starters, it's a great gift. Um, and a couple of other cool things about her candles, like one is that you can mix and match them. So you pick the, the slogan you want on your candle and then you can choose from five or six different fragrances. And then they also have a wood wick, which is interesting. And um, when you light it, it's kind of like a mini campfire going in your house. It is, and I know later you're gonna talk a little bit about the proper way to deal with the wick, because uh, there are certain things you have to do, especially when it is a wooden wick. But just take a look at these two that we have right here. So I've got isolation with the kids. Smells like drink the wine, light the candle, and remember that you still love them. Or we have also anxiety candle. Smells like just burn the freaking candle and breathe. Okay, well, talk about real talk. Nothing beats the honesty that comes from kids. And you got your kids to do a smell test on some candles and then tell us what they thought. Let's have a look. They're a bit different. I like them both. Yeah, I think this one has more smell. To me, it smells like pine needles and something. Pine needles? What do you think? Um, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. You know what they do when you're smelling perfume in a fancy department store? Smell coffee beans. Do you know why? No. <laughs> it's gonna clear your nose so that you can <laughs> smell something else next time. It's gonna like neutralize your nose. What about this one? Something like mango, pineapple, tropical. Oh. Something tropical. I think this one does have some citrus top notes. Noah's just like out to win. <laughs> cream. Cream. Yeah, it smells like cream. It smells like hand cream. <laughs> yes, that's what it smells like. A beautiful hand cream. <laughs> I love hand cream. I got a big mm. sniff of the coffee beans. It smells like some kind of alcohol. Alcohol? <laughs> alcohol. Alcohol? I think Noah was secretly reading the labels. Bye. Be cool. Very cute. Now you're going to be back later uh, with tips on, as I mentioned, how to care for the candles that you splurge on because you're going to want to treat them